Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for a specific sign. We're going to find out what that sign is together. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate and that is okay. So pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. Capiche, capiche. Okay, so let's see what we got going on. What do we got going on? Mm, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day today. Let's see who this is for. Hold on, let me just check. I don't even know who I've done so far. Who have I done so far this month, Spirit? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this message for? Who is this message for, Spirit? Can I please get a zodiac sign? Thank you. We got Libra. Did I do Libras yet? I done Saggy. I done Aquarii, I did Pisces. So Libra, this is your reading, okay? You can have Libra anywhere in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node. Or you can be cross-watching for a Libs. Okay, let's see what we got going on. Someone definitely could be in competition with you. We got Aries at the bottom of the deck. Um, or you could have Aries somewhere in your chart. Flip it where it needs to go, Okay. Yeah, we got Aries out here. You guys could be dealing with an Aries. Or someone here could be trying to challenge you or strip you of your willpower. We got Leo. You guys could be dealing with a Leo or someone who has Leo somewhere in their chart. And then we have Aquarius. You guys could be getting Aquarius or you could have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. Okay. Someone here was confident that they were going to be able to overpower you when it comes to a situation. Or it's your justice, okay, to receive some sort of happiness and success because you know who you are and you know where you're you know where you're going and you healed. Yeah, someone here could be a cancer, you guys could be dealing with a cancer, or you could have cancer somewhere in your chart. We have Gemini. Somebody here could be a Gemini that you're dealing with, or you could have Gemini somewhere in your chart, and then we have Pisces. You guys could be dealing with a Pisces, or you have Pisces somewhere in your chart. There could be somebody here who has Pisces somewhere in their chart that wants to heal something with you. Or there's somebody here who was a hidden enemy of yours that now wants to come in and heal something with you. Okay, Libra? Um, I don't know. We got Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck. You guys could be dealing with the Sag. You could have Sag somewhere in your chart. This could have been somebody here who was targeting you, okay? Or trying to shoot arrows at you. Okay, this could, this could have even been somebody here who was um, directing some sort of negative energy towards you that now wants some form of forgiveness. They could be in their feelings about something or someone took action in the past because of some sort of, you know, hurt feelings. Maybe somebody felt like you were to blame. They felt like it was fair for them to attack you because of that. All right. Someone definitely wants to, someone's trying to work up the courage and the strength to come in and communicate something to you. Someone here could have gone through a spiritual awakening, okay? They have gained some sort of much needed insight and they want to explain themselves to you. Family lover, business friend, flip it where I need to go, Libra. My Libras. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do my Libras need to know regarding this reading? What do my Libras need to know regarding this reading? So we have son, okay? Something here about a father figure, a baby father, okay? Somebody here could have been very um, self-centered or egotistical. 
or something here about your willpower it could be surprising somebody at this time someone surprised by your ability to create we have north node um somebody here could have leo as their north node okay this could be you or someone else There's someone here that was once very like egotistical and self-centered that now wants to come in and ask you to be their mentor or to help them with their own spiritual journey because this is someone here who's experienced some sort of spiritual awakening. Um, mm. What's happening with my Libras? Or someone's in their ego because you're in your north node. Because you went through some sort of self-development. Because you're in alignment with your destiny and you're getting some form of opportunity here. And this could be upsetting someone. We got your 12th, your 12th house out here. Something here about a secret enemy. Or someone here. Whoever, whoever's watching this, you might discover that you have some sort of hidden talent. Whoever, whoever's in their north node. You're going to discover something new about you that was hidden from you on purpose because you could have had some sort of ego, egotistical person around you or something like that. Like it wasn't the right time or someone needed to get out of like you needed to get out of a cycle first or something. We have a 11th house. Okay. Something here about the 11th house is of significance. This could have been a whole community of individuals here. You stand out of the crowd, Libra. You could be someone who doesn't go along with the rest of the group. You could be someone here who thinks for themselves. This could be even like the group could represent your family. You could be some, the oddball in your family. Or someone you share a family with. Or out of your friends group or something. We got Taurus. Someone here could have a Taurus North Node. Okay. Or there's a Taurus here who's in their North Node that you're dealing with. Flip where it needs to go. Or someone here was working with a Taurus. In some sort of group here. This could be somebody in your family. We got fourth house at the bottom of the deck. Maybe there's somebody here that wants to come in and support you financially. Or somebody here wants to have what you're destined to have, okay? Because you're in your north node. Somebody wanted that for themselves. We have third house. You're going to be getting some form of communication from a Gemini, a Pisces, an Aquarius, or a Taurus here. You're definitely working with an earth sign. Or you're dealing with a, an earth sign. You're being asked to stay grounded. Or someone here is about to get in trouble for something they did. I'm also getting like there's a need for you to be practical or handle handle something with um I don't I don't know why I want to say grace. We have Aquarius here. You guys could be dealing with you guys just, you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. Sorry, I'm laughing because I just noticed the card said they spelled the Aquarius wrong. <laughs> but anyways, um you guys could definitely be experiencing or not experiencing dealing with a Aquarius fuck I hate doing air sign reads you guys make me feel dumb in my brain I feel like Ooh. someone here could be high all the time or something um this could be you Libra or you're dealing with someone who's always getting high I don't know but I don't like it at all maybe you do need to stay grounded and my brain
somebody knows that you you have what it takes to to get something done here or somebody knows that you have the answers that they've been looking for that's why they want to come in and talk to you about something or they want to communicate something to you or or somebody knows that they have the answers that you are looking for and that's why they're going to come in and tell you something here they want to tell you a secret about maybe your second house maybe about some sort of resources okay something material someone here could be afraid to do this because they feel vulnerable this could be a virgo that you're dealing with libra someone here could be a libra virgo cusp Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the horse or the snake. <laughs> Something here about your te your tenth house or your career is of significance. So maybe someone wants to tell you about who was who was the one who was trying to um, disrupt or dismantle your tenth house. It's the fair thing for them to do, or something, or they feel like it's the fair thing to do is to you know tell you the truth about something here. Libra. Oh, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, give me out of this. Get me out. Get me out. Please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is going on? What are my Libras in here at this time? Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Tell me more. You're definitely getting communication because I chose the blue light today. Or there could be something going on with your throat chakra. Maybe someone's trying to do throat, throat chakra magic at you. Or someone here doesn't want you to tell the truth. Or someone's doing this to another individual. So they don't tell you the truth about something here. We got 333. Three, three. You guys could be seeing this angel number a lot. We have guardians or by your side to assist you. Okay. We have ear ringing. It says you will be getting downloads on them. So you're going to be receiving some sort of downloads when it comes to a particular person, Libra. Okay. It's your justice to know about some sort of secret or something here that was hidden from you. We have big mad bitch. It says they can't understand how you are so favored and it's eating at them. So you have someone here who's big mad about you receiving some sort of justice here in your life. Okay. Or you being told some sort of truth. We have being extra. It says they're trying to compete by doing the most they can't keep up. So you have somebody here possibly that you work with because the 10th the tenth house came out. This person could be wanting to compete with you against your own destiny or some weird shit, okay? Or there's somebody here being extra because they can't get one up on you, okay? They can't shoot you down. This is somebody here who always has a negative attitude. It says they stay in a low vibrational energy. So somebody here is very low vibing. You need to know that your guardians are definitely by your side protecting you from this low vibing weirdo, okay? Tell me more what's happening, what else they need to hear. Because someone wants you to shut up. Someone wants you to shut up. This can be somebody in your family that wants you to shut up. They feel like you're exposing them. They don't like that. They don't like it. They feel like you're ripping their mask off in front of people that they perceived that they have fooled. Okay? They don't like it. Ear ringing is out here again. You guys could be experiencing a lot of ear ringing at this time as well. Some of you could be seeing a lot of uh, a lot more um, fairy activity around you as well. Okay. For some of you, you guys could also be experiencing like certain things are like missing out of nowhere. It's because your fairies are like playing with you. They want they're they're just they're not being evil or anything. They're just playing. Okay. Something about that is significant. Just ask for them to put it back. We have cord cut. We have it's time to release them, cut them off. Okay, so you could have cord cutted an individual out your energy and now they're acting extra. They're getting crazy. We have a psychic vampire. This is a psychic vampire that you did a cord cutting, okay? It says Ita energy drains everyone around them. So you're dealing with the energy vampire who's constantly in a, in a negative energy. Um, or has a negative attitude, we have delusional. It says they actually think that they are right for the bad actions and will try to validate themselves. So this person is completely delulu. They feel like everything that they're doing towards you, they feel completely justified. So like I was saying before, someone feels justified when it comes to trying to like, 
do something negative to you or withhold some sort of information from you. <clears throat> we have overactive crown. It says they're obsessed with spirituality. So this is someone here who's abusing like some form of like divination, magic, magic tree, witchery, voodoo, hoodoo. Someone's abusing it. Okay. To the point to where whoever they're calling upon or giving, giving offerings to in order to do something to you, they're not listening. They're rebelling. They could be doing everything that they're, the wicked stuff that they're asking for. It could be getting done to them. Okay. Something here about your crown chakra could be of significance. You guys could be doing things in order to approve, to improve your crown chakra. All right. You guys could be noticing that you're receiving like rapid downloads at this time. It's because of whatever you're doing. Okay. Maybe you're like listening to like crown chakra meditation um, music or frequencies or something. Or maybe this is something that you need to do. What else do they need to hear? Okay, we have 444. It says trust in the angelic realm that you are connected to. All right, you guys could definitely be seeing this angel number. Fashao. And then we have a cleanse. Clear your aura. Some of you might need to do an a cleanse at this time because of the negativity this person is trying to send you. Who is this fucking energy vampire? Let's find out. From my labras. Wee 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 like a cop car. Wee 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 Mrs. Officer, Mrs. Officer. That's Lil Wayne. We, we, we. Something here about the police. Someone here could be a police officer. This could be you or someone else. Ooh. Okay, this psychic vampire is a feminine energy. All right? This person eats at energy and drains everyone around them. All right? Or someone here could be a female police officer. Flip where it needs to go. Or you could be like a police officer in the spiritual realm. Maybe you don't know this about yourself. Who knows? Maybe you, you pull over and you arrest people who um, violate spiritual law. <laughs> holy Spirit, holy, holy Angels. Not just for yourself, but for other people or something. Maybe you do this in your dream state and you don't realize it. Why do we have a secret vampire who eats at everybody? That's for some of you, not all y'all. We have karmic. So no, this is a karmic feminine energy here that is a psychic vampire. They drain people's energy. Your guardian angels are protecting you from this person. Okay, guys? Okay. We have Aries. This person could be a karmic feminine Aries. Or they could have Aries somewhere in their chart that is a psychic vampire. Or you have Aries somewhere in your chart. Okay? Or you're cross-watching. Flip where it needs to go. We have um, Rabbit. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rabbit. Or you do. Flip where it needs to go, baby boo. That is a psychic vampire that is karmic to you. Or this is your Chinese zodiac sign. We have Taurus. You could have a Taurus here who's a psychic vampire that you're dealing with. They could be a karmic to you, or you could be a Taurus. Okay? Or you have Taurus somewhere in your chart. Flip where it needs to go. We have coming in to nurture and support you. So this psychic vampire wants to come in and act like they want to nurture and support you, but they don't. This person is having a tough time trying to get nearby you because you have a guardian angel here that is blocking this individual from coming towards you. So this person may literally have a, a spiritual restraining order, okay? To stay away from you. Maybe this is something that you have done in order to make sure this person stays out your energy, okay? And your guardian angels are abiding by this. Or this could be like a literal restraining order. Maybe you literally have a restraining order on someone. You could be this feminine energy, or this is a feminine energy who's a psychic vampire. Flip it where it needs to go, baby boo. I'm not your mom. I'm not your daddy. Okay? Who's this person with the overactive crown that's obsessed with my Libras and, uh, and doing spirituality, doing some weird shit? This is someone here who loves you today, hates you tomorrow. Who's doing this? Who is this person with the crown chakra and the overactive crown? This person can have the Chinese zodiac sign of the dragon. This could be you or the person with the overactive crown who's obsessed with doing spells on you. It's the vibe I'm getting. We have twin flame. This this could be your twin flame that has an overactive crown chakra and is obsessed, obsessed with spirituality. They could be big mad, okay, because you're favored and there's 
there's nothing they can do about it okay or someone's upset because you're about to receive or be in contact with your twin flame they don't like this they're obsessively trying to block this this could be a cancer that's obsessively trying to block this or you could have cancer somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one we have short term okay this is somebody here that you've only known for a short amount of time or you maybe they know you and you don't know them we got mirror okay somebody here's trying to get you to mirror the same type of um karma that they're going through the same types of failures shortcomings okay you're going to be getting downloads on who this person is. We got rat. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rat who's obsessed, okay? And their crown chakra is blown, probably. Who's this person that being extra as hell? Okay, the person who loves you today, hates you tomorrow. Smiles in your face, talks shit about you when you're down. We have snake. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the snake that's doing this, okay? Or this is your Chinese zodiac sign. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the dog, okay, that's being extra. Or this is your Chinese zodiac sign. Someone here definitely admires you and they compete with you. We have coming in with advice and guidance. So someone's coming in. Why? Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac, zodiac sign of the goat. Someone's trying to mislead someone down the wrong path, yeah. So that you don't get into a new connection with somebody. This could be a Gemini or an ex-lover of yours. Or you could have Gemini somewhere in your chart. Or this is a two-faced person that you're dealing with that's being extra. Or maybe you saw that this person was being two-faced to you. That's why you cut the cord or you cut them off or you stopped talking to them and now they're pissed. They're mad at you, Libra. But who cares? Let's see what's going on. I'm also getting like Libra. You got someone going uh, going around acting like they're concerned about you, but but then but they're not or something. Like someone's going around like trying to tell everybody like, oh, I'm so concerned for Libra, da 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 da. But like that's just like their way to figure out what you have going on in your life or something. What the heck is going on with my Libs? Yeah, you got rejoice and celebration. You got something to be joyful for in the near future. Or there could have been a group of friends or a community here who were celebrating about someone walking away from you in the past. Okay, we have emotional withdrawal. The number 38 or 1983 could be very significant for some of you. There's a cycle here that's ending. One world is ending, a new one's beginning. Something here about divine intervention is of significance when it comes to this situation. Someone here could be born August 3rd or August um, 12th. Something here about the master number 33 could be of significance. You guys could be seeing this number a lot. Someone, someone here could be an ascended master or something like that. Someone here could be the life path three, life path eight. Time has run out. Time is running out or has already ran out. You already decided to let somebody go or somebody here is now under judgment because they waited too long or they ran out of time to do something or so something like that is going on, Libra. This could be an Aquarius that ran out of time. Someone's still hoping that they can heal something between y'all because someone is seeing you as wish fulfillment. Once again, something about your crown chakra is of significance. Okay, you hold a lot of power when it comes to your crown, what you know. Your power is your knowledge. Someone here could be born September 17th, okay? You got the power child you got the power something here is destined to happen here what the hell going on labra what's happening with my labras holy spirit holy angels what's going on with my libras what do they need to hear at this time for their highest good um somebody here could like chocolate covered raisins 
this could be you or someone else involved in this situation. I don't know, or someone was eating them or something. Why do we have rejoice and celebration? It says you're receiving help. Okay, you're going to be receiving help. Crap. You're going to be receiving help here, even when it comes to a legal issue, possibly. You're going to have a group of people coming through for you. Why do we have emotional withdrawal? Someone's definitely watching you. Ever since you walked away, someone's been watching you. We got cover up. Maybe someone's trying to cover, cover their ass. Maybe someone's lying to people about the reason how you left or why you left like someone's trying to cover their ass about that maybe someone you know they know they're in the in the wrong but they don't want to accept accountability for this why do we have sacrifice <clears throat> we have laughs at your pain so somebody here could have been laughing at your pain at one point this person's going to be under judgment or they are under judgment for laughing at your pain this could have been a bully this is somebody here who wanted you to be thrown under under the bus. This is somebody here who wanted you to be let go or sacrificed in some way. This could have been your family members. This could have been a circle of friends, a community, um, a cult, a coven, an ex of yours. Whatever it is, they were laughing at your pain, okay? They were trying to bully you. Confirmation. Who are these bullies? A feminine energy so there's this is a feminine energy who is bullying you in the spiritual or on the 3d or both or this bully or you're this feminine energy that they were bullying we have cancer this this could be a feminine energy that's a cancer that was bullying you or a feminine energy that was an aquarius that was bullying you there's something this this cancer and aquarius keep popping up together so there could be a um a cancer and aquarius couple that were bullying you. They were laughing at your pain. They wanted you to feel shame. Who are these bullies? These are people that you've known for a very long time. Or one of them you were in a long term relationship. At one point. That's for some of you not all y'all. We got rabbit. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rabbit. That was laughing at your pain. Who was bullying you. Or this is your Chinese zodiac sign. We have short term so this could have been an individual that you've only known for a short amount of time that was that got involved in bullying you this could have been a leo here that was laughing at your pain and was bullying you or these people are about to get exposed for being bullies okay because you deserve to be happy we have ox okay someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of the ox or you do flip where it needs to go i don't know if this lighting's too dark or not because <laughs> it feels like that all right Somebody here could be a Virgo, or they could have Virgo somewhere in their chart, or you do, okay? That was bullying you. Let me turn this. Switching it up. Okay, guys, let me get back to it, all right? Somebody here was definitely bullying you. Because they wanted you to shut up, okay? They didn't want you to heal. They didn't want you to have peace. Why do we have the waiting game? Someone here could be Sagittarius. Someone here could be born December 8th, December 3rd, December 23rd. Disengage. Daytime. Someone's getting exposed. Someone was making you wait or trying to keep you stuck for a while. What a hope. Or someone's been waiting for someone to like re-engage with them. So if this is someone here that you walked away from, this person's been trying really hard to find a way or to do some sort of magic or spell so that you can come towards them. So you can make the first move and speak to them, um, engage with them, okay? I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you ain't doing it. We got not taking care of things. Someone's hoping that they can heal something even though they're not taking care of things. This is someone here that wants you to repeat history with them. Okay. History repeating. Why do we have hope? Can you tell me more? We have cover up in reverse. Something is no longer being covered up or no longer can be covered up. There's somebody here who's getting exposed for not being able, not taking care of things. 
Tell me more. Someone wants to say they're sorry now. I'm shawy. Someone wants to say sorry. For maybe someone wants to say sorry for making you look like you weren't being able to take care of things. Okay. They could be getting karma for this. Yeah, this is somebody here that wants you back. It says, I want you back. Okay. But this person's coming in playing games. This is this person's intentions is to come in and play games with you, okay? Libra. Yeah, this person wants to come in and say, I miss you. We have boundaries crossed. So this is somebody who's already crossed your boundaries in some way, okay? Or this person could, if you literally have a restraining order on this person, this person could even be like willing to break that restraining order to like come to you or something. We have lips are sealed. Someone here misses you and they want to say sorry, but they don't have the strength or courage to communicate this to you. We have spell backfired. I'm also getting maybe someone here is trying to seal your lips from telling the truth. And whatever that spell was, it backfired. Maybe someone was trying to do a spell so that you wouldn't communicate with your twin flame. Or you wouldn't tell the truth about something here that someone was trying to cover up. Enjoy some celebration. Yeah, we got red flag. You could have paid attention to the red flags when it comes to a particular individual. This could have been one of your friends. Maybe you picked up that somebody here was lying to you. Or somebody here might come to you lying about how they need help. They might be coming towards you asking you for help. Like, hey, Libra, I need you to help me with X, Y, and Z. This person's a liar. Okay, they got a trick up their sleeve. Okay? You need to listen to your intuition. Death spell. Someone's watching you to see if a death spell, if a death, if a death spell has worked. Okay? This could have been someone here trying to put a death between you and another person. Like when it comes to deading a relationship. Okay? Family lover business friend relationship. This person did this because you walked away from them and they don't like it. Someone here could have committed some sort of spiritual crime. Or literal physical crime you're gonna be receiving some sort of money here or some sort of Dharma because of this person yeah we got karmic here karmic here is watching you karmic here did some sort of death spell or somebody here a karmic that you were dealing with that's a feminine energy or a man who's in feminine energy this person you might hear about them passing away because of a death spell that backfired some sort of spell money spell that backfired a lot of spells. This is somebody here who was a bully. Whoever was bullying you, they got to go. Sour Nara. That's just the way it's gonna be. If someone wanted you to be a sacrifice. They're gonna be their own. They're, this person hung themselves. <clears throat> we have not listening to the signs, and it's in reverse. Um, so you could have been somebody here who listened to the signs, and that's why you didn't get sacrificed. You realized that someone here wasn't to be trusted. You could be someone who is a black sheep. You realized there was someone here that was not to be trusted. Okay, they know that you know that you that they are not to be trusted. They know this. They know that you know that they were trying to sacrifice you. Yeah, spell backfired. This person's very entitled. So this entitled person is hoping they can heal something with you. <laughs> okay, this person's gonna be coming in with little lies, little, little, little lies. How's that go? Oh, tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Tell me, tell me lies. So someone's going to come in with lies. Someone's getting caught in their own web of lies. Someone uses foil. Uh, never mind. Let me, let me keep going. What time is it? Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with my Libras? What do they need to hear at this time for their highest good? What do my Libras need to hear? Hold on, give me a second. Someone here could be drinking a lot of alcohol at this time. Okay, and if this is you, you need to slow it down, baby boo. Okay, something here about um, 
Someone did something funny with some sort of money, child. Someone here could have used your social security number. Someone here could have stolen your identity in some way. You might be finding this out. Or someone attempted to try to do this on the new moon and it backfired. Okay. This could have been someone literally trying to use your, like, social security number and to steal your identity. Or somebody here was um, trying to spiritually steal your identity. Okay. Your essence, your aura. So they can receive something here from the divine. Because they know that you're going to be receiving something here from the divine real quick. Okay. And it's being, it's being, um, it's a secret. The reason why it's staying a secret is because you got weirdos trying to take something from you. So the divine is doing something in secret for you. Okay. It's coming, but it's like, I'm also getting, if this is someone here who was able to like spy on you spiritually, they no longer can. Okay. This could have been an Aquarius. It don't have to be, though. Or they could have Aquarius heavily in their charts somewhere. Okay? This could be someone who goes to church a lot. You guys could be seeing 111. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this? Or not, who is this? We got secret bank account. You guys could be, um, something here about a secret bank account could be of significance. Okay? You might be finding this out. Something here about the month of November is of significance. You guys could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay, or a Libra. You could be a Libra, Scorpio, flip where it needs to go. As justice is on your side. Whoever I'm speaking to, you got justice on your side. What else they need to hear, spirit? We have paid a mechanic to mess up your car. So somebody here could have paid a mechanic to fuck your vehicle up so that you could be harmed or hurt in some way. We have, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Okay? So, somebody doesn't understand that concept. We have forged signature. So, someone here could have forged your signature, okay, in order to open up a secret bank account in your name. We have, or this, or that's what's hidden from you. That's the secret. There's some sort of bank account in your name. And this person's been withdrawing money from it. It says uh, maybe somebody has, maybe someone has been, somebody could have cleaned the, the account out. Maybe somebody spent everything in that account. We have appreciate, appreciating where you are right now. You're being asked to appreciate where you are right now, okay? Be grateful for what you got, baby boo. Because you got more coming through. We got co-worker is threatened by your work ethic. So you have a co-worker that you're dealing with, Libra, that is threatened by your work ethic. This person could be born in November. Yeah, they're losing their mind over you and what you be doing. Yeah, they're losing their mind because you are you have justice on your side. You could be a psychic. Or this could be another psychic that is a co-worker that is threatened by your work ethic, baby. We have not to be trusted, okay? They could have been threatened of your work ethic ever since November. I don't know. Whoever this person is, is not to be trusted. You already know this person is not to be trusted. We have money is coming fast. And if this isn't your co-worker, this could be somebody else that you're connected to and it's their co-worker. Flip over needs to go. Do not make something fit if it doesn't. We have shoplifting charge so someone here could be getting in um getting in trouble for shoplifting because they're trying to get money fast so this could be somebody here you know like those people that like bum rush um certain stores okay especially if they live in california because like in california they don't there's like a law that they pass where like petty crimes or something don't really get criminalized or something as harshly as they used to so there's like a epidemic of a bunch of people just going into stores stealing a bunch of shit like i saw i've seen videos of people going into sephora and just stealing a bunch of like makeup products so that they can resell it online or something like that or on the streets <laughs> or something um like Rite Aid, they do that at Rite Aid, they do that at CVS, they just do it at everywhere. They've done it at like, uh, what's it called, Chanel. I don't know what it's called, but somebody was somebody here could be getting caught doing that. We have um, 
protect your energy. You're being asked to protect your energy from this person that you know is not to be trusted. I'm also getting for whoever I'm speaking to, if you went to a mechanic recently and you felt something was off, like either with your vehicle or when you got there and you were getting your vehicle serviced, okay? You need to listen to that because maybe your your spirit team is trying to let you know that this this mechanic is no good, okay? Something like that, okay? There's also a coworker here that, that's threatened by your work ethic that uh, might end up getting charged with a charge lifting situation. Charge lifting, a shoplifting thing. Or someone's trying to steal energy from you. We got 111. You guys could be seeing this number a lot. Something here about your mother is of significance. You could be a mother. Flip over needs to go. Tell me more. We have disowned. So somebody here is trying to disown you, or someone here was trying to leave you out in the cold, and they're about to get left out in the cold. We have maybe. Okay. So I don't know. Even if you feel like you should maybe not trust somebody, you should listen to that, okay? We have someone you know will be on the news for doing something bad. So somebody gonna be on the news for doing something real bad. Oh my God, my nose. The past couple of days, dude, I've been getting the, the feather tickle during these readings. Tell me more, what's happening? What else they need to hear? Okay, so we have cleanse your space. With Palo Santo, Flora Water, Sage, Cedar, Sound Bowl, Frequencies. Okay, cleanse your space. We have cold person. You guys could be dealing with a cold person who is a co-worker that is uh, threatened by your work ethic. Okay, this person wants you to be casted out. This person wants you to be rejected from, from the community, from your place of work. Um, someone doesn't want you to feel like you belong or somebody doesn't want you to belong. We have ego. Somebody here could be in their ego. This is someone who definitely is edging God out. Okay. Whoever was involved in trying to mess up your forward movement. Okay. They're definitely in their ego. This could be an Aquarius or someone who has Aquarius heavily in their um, chart. Or somebody doesn't like how shine, how much you shine. Or how brightly you shine. I don't know, something like that, y'all. We have manifestation mode. Maybe somebody here is envious of your ability to manifest. We have 369, okay? We have stepmom. Something here about your stepmom is of significance. Or there's a need for you to really cleanse your space on a constant basis because it might affect negatively affect your manifestations, okay? It says someone you blocked will try to reach out to you, okay? So cleanse so your manifestations can come through clear or something like that or faster it says it's time to time to get back out there so some of you might need to go out there and socialize okay or someone here is trying to get you to go out and socialize this could be your brother or somebody's brother or somebody's brother was in their ego maybe this could be your brother or somebody else's brother but there or somebody's uncle whoever it is you're being asked to protect your energy from this person or somebody here that you call a bro um, we have intelligent person, okay? You could be a very intelligent person. You need to know that your ancestors are definitely proud of you because of your intelligence. Because you, lear you, you learned something here and you used your brain when it came to a situation, okay? It protected you from being scammed, okay? Someone's trying to scam the fuck out of you. We got, you are a rising phoenix, whoever I'm speaking to, okay? You coming back with the vengeance, and they didn't expect it from you. Tell me more, what's going on? What's going on with my Libras? We got wondering why you still alive, death spell. Someone here is wondering why you still alive, because they did a death spell on you, Libra. This could be your brother that did a death spell on you, or your bro. Somebody's bro. A brother-in-law. Someone. We have calling, texting, emailing you, using fall, uh, using fake account, fake accounts, profiles to vamp off energy from you. This is what this person was doing. Oh Lord, Lord. We have cults. This is somebody here who's in a cult or a coven. 
There could have been somebody here who, who really thought they could outsmart you in a situation. It says, we are born to help people. And if we can't help them or someone, let's at least not hurt them. Okay, this is somebody here that you're unable to uplift. Or somebody here that you're you're unable to help. Okay? Or this is somebody here that you helped at one point And they, they were planning on trying to scam you. Or steal from you. So this is like the collective read I just did. Okay? Someone here thought... Someone here took your niceness for weakness. Libra. Maybe somebody tried to do this back in November. This is someone here who real cold. Their heart chakra could be blocked. This person may not have any empathy or any feelings towards you. This could be someone who only cares about, like, like I said, self-centered. This could be a Leo or someone who has Leo somewhere in their chart. And like I said in the beginning of the read, there's somebody here that might be coming in asking you that they uh, asking you for help. They'd be like, oh, I need help from you it's a red flag because this person they're using that as an opportunity to take from you so just be mindful of that this is someone here who's not willing to be helped don't save her she don't want to be saved do not save this person we have drive-by shooting okay so something here about that is of significance maybe that's how somebody somebody's brother here or someone's broski was um this is what they were invested in. This is how they were planning to, to get you to be taken out. And it didn't work. Someone here also was trying to get you trafficked, baby. But you're too intelligent. Maybe someone was trying to do this back in July. Or someone here is trying to do this this July. Or someone here is a cancer who is trying to get you trafficked. And they're in a cult. We have grand larceny. Someone here could have stole a large amount of money from you or they were planning to. This could have been your aunt or your aunt. Okay, or you're an aunt or you're an aunt. We have, d d I was about to say Jeru lover, but a dog lover. A d a d someone here is a dog lover. This can be you or someone else or the person that's in their ego. We got first quarter moon. Okay, so something here about that is of significance. That's the 2nd of June or July, I think. We have so something about that date could be of significance. We got Lion King, remember who you are. Remember who you are, Shimba. Okay? Remember who you are, baby boo. Somebody here has a cluster B personality disorder. Okay, if you don't know what that is, look that up. There's three care there's three um main cluster B personality disorder. There's histrionic I think there's narcissistic and I think there's sociopathic, but I'm not sure. Look it up. Something like that. Someone's going to be acting extra and like irrationally dramatic. But is it dramatic ever really rational? Something like that is going on. Someone's going to be acting real crazy, like out of sorts. People are going to be looking at this person like, are you okay? Someone here might be making a scene. This could be an Aries that might be out here trying to make a scene. Okay, or someone here who's in competition with you. We got foster dad. Something about your foster dad could be of significance. Or someone's stepfather is of significance. We got application approved. So you're about to get approved of something here. Okay, if you put in an application for someone. You got someone here praying on your downfall, baby. We have wishes the worst for you. So somebody here has been wishing the worst for you. Okay, they were, they were wishing for you to experience some sort of loss, some sort of loss of money, some sort of death. But it ain't happening, Captain. This person could be in their 70s or above who's doing this to you. Ooh, hot diggity dang. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, this could be somebody in your family. Uh, we got Scorpio. So there's a Scorpio out here that is not to be trusted. You need to protect your energy from this person. Okay, we have, I drive by your house. So somebody here could be driving by your house like a fucking weirdo. Um, this could be someone that you have a restraining order on or a spiritual restraining on, restraining order on and they just, keep, they just keep driving by your house. I don't even know if that's 50 feet, okay? But they need to have 50 feet. It says you're getting promoted, okay? You're getting some sort of promotion here. Someone's wishing ill will on your promotion or your ascension or your growth in general. 
Someone here could be visiting you in your sleep. You could be seeing this person. It could be your uncle or someone's uncle. Someone's uncle could be a Scorpio. Don't have to be. We got a south node. Okay, this person definitely could be in their south node. Or someone here is definitely in fear because of what they were doing to you. Or they're in fear of some sort of death spell backfiring. We have co-worker is competing with you again. So we have a co-worker here that's competing with you. They're threatened and competing with you. You could have more than one. We have nervous. Someone here could be nervous. There could be a coworker here that was competing with you Is that's now nervous. We have sad. This person could be sad. This person could be drinking a lot. What was I saying before? You could have like a, a coworker here that's threatened by your work ethic that's a drinker or they do some sort of drugs, okay, in order to do their job. Or they're constantly under the influence of drugs or marijuana or something like that or cocaine lsd fucking mushroom something we have stolen idea identity someone here is nervous because they stole your identity spiritually or in the 3d and they're nervous because they know they're about to get charged for it we have this someone here could like it in the booty this could be you or someone else or the scorpio we have justice is on your side okay or someone here was trying to like sodomize you okay we have a uh, premeditated murder is of significance okay this this person who's a heavy drinker was involved in trying to harm you plan to harm you with a co-worker that's also competing with you we got a new apartment you could be someone who has a new apartment this could be a libra okay you could be a libra that has a new apartment once again something here about this libra scorpio cusp is a weirdo if this is you child flip it where it needs to go but we got libra scorpio out here that you need to protect your energy from you could be a libra virgo cusp i don't know flip it where it needs to go but you need to protect your energy or you're a libra scorpio cusp and you need to protect your energy from this person that's in their ego bro this person don't care about nobody else but themselves they're not your bro we have um criminal insider trading so someone here could be doing something illegal with money watch your purse someone here is trying to take from you we have don't eat their food poison witchcraft okay etc someone here might be coming towards you acting like they real shy but they 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 a killer tell me more we got felony this person could have a felony on their record okay or you do or someone was trying to get you to have a felony we have um neighborhood is gossiping so the whole neighborhood or community they're gossiping about you and how someone in this community is sad because you're getting justice okay because something didn't work out whatever they were planning against you with these rumors and lies this is the biggest lie ever told is it's not that simple but it truly is that simple so somebody here was cast there was someone here was casting illusions about you because of your how your life is right now okay someone here could have been saying oh there's no way so and so obtain what they have obtained alone they could have someone here could have been saying that you worship the devil or something we have the only thing to count on is change all right or someone feels like you got a sugar daddy or a sugar mama something or someone feels like you're doing something illegal to have the type of stability that you have we have emotional pain okay Oh, that's not what it says emotional person okay so there's an emotional person who's going through emotional pain okay because they're nervous about some sort of um or someone here this is someone here who was trying to cause you emotional pain and they're nervous because this is backfiring someone's life is turning into a train wreck or someone here might get into an accident we got I, this is not what i wish for this is just what's coming out we got zero 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 you guys can be seeing this okay your your life is going through a reset we got cousin your cousin could be nervous okay maybe your cousin stole your identity in order to get themselves a new apartment ciao something here about a virgo leo cusp could be of significance this could be you or someone else maybe there's a virgo leo cusp that you need to be cautious of Someone here could be of Jewish descent, or you are, flip it where it needs to go. Something here about colorism is of significance, okay? This is this could be the main reason behind a coworker that's competing with you, or someone here that wanted to traffic you, or there could be a cult of individuals that are colorist, and they don't like you and how intelligent you are, because in their mind, your shade of whatever is not supposed to be as intelligent as you are. I also feel like 
Um, yeah, that's what it looked like. You could be someone who's very wise. You guys could be hearing a lot of owls or you guys could be seeing a lot of owls as well. Someone here definitely has some sort of cruel intentions against you. Okay. Someone wants you to know or ask why can't you be normal? Okay. Or why can't something go back to normal? Like how it was between you two. Like someone wants you to put down your guards. Somebody wants you to allow them to get into your energy and let them suck off you. Like this, this could be the psychic vampire. We have court ruled in your favor. Okay. So the court has ruled in your favor, baby. We have slept with someone higher up to cover their ass. So that was the cover up. Maybe you're exposing the cover up that somebody did. Someone even went, someone went to the extent to like sleep with somebody in the legal system so they can cover their ass when it comes to some sort of legal issues or to get some sort of legal ruling to go in their favor. Okay. This could be coming out. We have new world order, something here about a fall of religion or somebody here wanted you to um, lose your faith. This could be a toxic family dynamic that was doing this, okay? Or someone here wanted to cause some sort of toxicity in your family. We have hawk, okay? Someone here is being watched as a hawk. We have beauty in this in the beast, Belle. She truly is a funny girl, that Belle. So someone's looking at you like an enigma. Somebody here can't figure you out, okay? Someone feels like you're not you're not like they're not you're not like somebody okay so somebody here could have been trying to stereotype you and they're realizing that they can't okay because you you have layers to you you have depth someone here could have been trying to like put you in a box and try to put you in a category to get everybody to shame you or something in some way but you don't fit in those boxes and you don't fit in that category okay whoever you are you're you're a fucking independent thinker you're a critical thinker. You have critical thinking skills. We have crying. Someone here could be crying. You could be someone who has a, a thirst a thirst for knowledge. Maybe someone was trying to say like you're a bimbo or something like that, but you're not. We have a second degree burglary. Okay. So um, someone here could have been trying to literally rob you. A planned robbery. That's what second degree burglary is. Okay. It's pan it's planned robbery that you can also this doesn't even have to be like you don't even have to get a second degree burglary charge for um, trying to burglarize someone's home. This could be even someone here trying to pl uh, planning to burglarize a s department store or a convenience store or something like that. That is also considered second degree burglary. That's five to ten. No, I'm just joking. That's like three to seven or three to six. We have um, broke into your home. So somebody here could have definitely tried to break into your home or that's what they were planning on doing. But justice was on your side. So maybe someone here was planning on, you know, doing this. Maybe they, you know, got in their car, gathered all their supplies in order to come in and travel towards you to do this. And then they got, <clears throat> they got hit with divine intervention. Your guardian angel could have stepped in and stopped this person from being able to travel towards you because someone here was plotting to harm you. This could have been a tarot card reader or you are a tarot card reader. Okay. Yeah, there's a tarot card reader here who's drinking. We got tarot card reader and then we have drinker. Or somebody wanted to take you out for drinks or something. I don't know. We got tarot card reader. Someone here needs to hire a fucking lawyer. Because they done messed up. Tell me more. What else is going on? Yeah, somebody here could be very dangerous. They could be somebody here who's sacrificing animals. Or, um, yeah. We have one month, okay? Something's going to happen one month from now. Or something that happened last month is coming to light this month. Or someone last month was trying to rob you. We have uh, at your new place. We have I still can smell you. So somebody here. <laughs> okay. We have tracking device on your phone. Someone here could be following your whereabouts. Someone's first, middle, or last name could start with a D. This could be you or someone else. Oh, well, hot diggity dang. Hot diggity dang, Libra. What else do they need to hear? Again? 
Okay, it says listen more carefully, then you'll know. You guys could be dealing with a Gemini, or you could have Gemini somewhere in your chart, or be careful, or read between the lines when it comes to somebody's communication. Someone here could be a Taurus. Someone just knocked on my door. Someone here could be knocking on your door, Libra. I'll be back. Listen, y'all. Okay, wasn't I going to do another one? I was. It says you will need to accommodate. Okay, so you might need to accommodate for somebody or somebody wants you to accommodate for somebody. Maybe someone wants to come in and live with you. We got cancer. Someone here could be a cancer or somebody here is coming with you with the, you know, the tears. Begging for you to help them. I don't know. We have Sagittarius. This could be a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Sag or you have Sag somewhere in your chart. Lord have mercy. Libra. What's going on in their energy? What do they need to know when it comes to this situation spirit? Actually, I don't want to use these. Let me use these. Spirit, holy angels, what's going on with my Libras? What do they need to hear at this time? Someone here is bankrupt. You might hear about this. Okay, someone here wants you to accommodate for them because they're broke now. We have bounce. It says leave the situation or person. It's time to leave it all behind. Leaving fast, wrap it up. Someone here could be getting left because they're now now they're bank bankrupt. So someone here could have been someone here could have Someone here could have been married to or in a relationship with somebody here just for money. Okay. The person that they were with that has the money, they could have gone, they could have went bankrupt. And that person that truly was just there for their, what they had is leaving them or they already did. Or maybe... This is something that someone did to you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and now they're getting karma. Flip where it needs to go. We have child services. Someone here could have been, um, someone here could have did something when it came to child services and you. It says kids at risk of being taken or is about to. Reporting something, neglect, abuse. Somebody, so like I said before, somebody said sorry. They wanted to say sorry for trying to make you look like you weren't taking care of something. So somebody here was trying to, someone wants to say sorry for trying. Let me get my words together. Someone here wants to say sorry for trying to make you look like you were being neglectful or not taking care of your children. If you have kids, that's for some of you. Not all y'all. We have basic. It says plan and or pl yeah, plain and simple, mainstream in your taste, insults, unoriginal, unexciting. So maybe somebody lost interest in somebody who went bankrupt or somebody thought they can get better than you or this could have been a psychic vampire that you were with and once they drained the life out of you they also like drove a fucking stake in your heart with the whole children cps thing and made you feel like you were left for dead or something but i feel like whoever you are you could have like like i said you're a rising phoenix you came up from the ashes okay and you're 10 times better than you were when you were dealing with this person. 
and this person could be experiencing some sort of downfall i don't know flip it where it needs to go or someone here chose you for a basic bitch we have by felicia it says living or not living it says leaving and not caring a goodbye for now dismissing over it whatever you could be over this person here we have okay boomer it says outdated opinions so somebody here has some form of outdated opinions when it comes to you <clears throat> someone here could be out of touch they could be closed-minded this could be an older individual or this is just someone simply who's um refusing to change we have breadcrumbing it says avoid making any real effort keeping one's of options over an open mind games non-committal so somebody here wanted you to feel like you were less than somebody here wanted you to feel like you're basic you're nothing special someone was trying to tear down your self-esteem so you can doubt your self-worth even though they knew you were worth way more maybe i'm so tired of this we got talking shit this person now regrets talking shit about you okay because you because you your bounce back your bounce back is a bounce back okay someone's talking shit we got fake smiles so someone's going around acting like oh it doesn't bother me that uh libra bounced the fuck back oh no it doesn't bother me that uh libra's doing well no it doesn't bother me yeah it does it does bother this person they do we have unfazed yeah you can be very much unfazed by this motherfucker okay you don't care and you shouldn't we have head in the clouds so somebody's head could definitely be in the clouds they could be thinking about all the shit talk that they talked about they could be thinking about all the times that they mishandled you and dismissed your concerns your feelings your emotions someone wish they can turn back the hands of time we got staycation this is a vacation spent a spent at home enjoying local attractions mini vacation on a budget some of y'all need to might need to take a vacation <sighs> you know what else i'm getting if this is somebody here who fought really hard for for custody for their kids full custody is that what it's called not 50 50 but full custody like where they have the kids all the time isn't that what that means um this person is regretting the full custody that they fought so hard for because this person feels like they don't ever have time for themselves like somebody here wanted to have full custody of the kids but they didn't want to be a parent to the kids they didn't want to accept the responsibility. I don't know. That's for some of you, not all y'all. We got travel. Okay. So someone's trying to act unfazed about your travel plans or someone doesn't like that you're unfazed. So they're, they were planning to travel towards you to make you feel, to make you care. We have thirsty. It says needing validation, fishing for compliments, desperate, horny, too eager. So somebody here is thirsty thinking about you wanting your, uh, your validation your attention they're willing to do anything this person is now willing to beg for you grovel at your feet i'm also getting this person feels like a fool and they're trying to hide it behind fake smiles it says we'll do anything to win you over nice guy slash girl syndrome a fool begging groveling we have lost last chances it says they lost their chance or you did so somebody here could have lost their chance with you they know it or they're trying to prevent themselves from losing their chance with you and they're willing to travel towards you we have um creativity muncher it says steals your ideas copies your work duplicates or feeds off you okay so this is somebody here who's a psychic vampire and they were feeding off your energy and they're upset they they can no longer do that because you said bye felicia you left and they ever since then they've been talking shit and they've been trying to steal your ideas or something or try to make other people believe that your ideas are their ideas we have shipping it says they believe in the relationship wishing you stay together rooting for the partnership so i don't know someone's hoping that y'all could make a relationship become a relationship again okay there's two girls on this card so this could be a same sex situation for some of you you could have okay so you could have two past people that want you you could have somebody here who is a feminine energy 
that is still holding out on hope that you two could still be together in some way. And then you also have like a feminine man that wants to come back and is holding out on hope that you guys could come together. Somehow child services is involved in this. We have in their head in my head is that how it goes in my or is it your in your head <laughs> that was horrible zombie 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 eh, eh. <laughs> what is this up? someone here could be a fucking zombie someone here could be an npc this person does not have a fucking soul or a personality okay um, they could be, this is someone here who picks up other people's personalities and wears them as a mask. Okay. This could be a narcissist, a sociopath, um, psychopath, somebody here. They're, they're overthinking a situation. They're trying to find a way where they could still have a chance with you. This person could be a heavy smoker. Okay. We have turned or someone's like trying to find out ways they can get back into your life, but they're doing it while they're under the influence of like drink or Jerugs. We have turn. It says a state of being wild, acting wildly, jerugs, alcohol, shiks at crazy parties, jerunk, excited. And while they're doing all this, they're thinking about you. Someone here could be blackmailing someone about with a photo that they have of them when they were at a party that they were blitzed out of their soul and they were doing something that they don't want other people to know about we have bad habits okay or this is what someone was trying to do to you flip where it needs to go we got bad habits though it says jerugs uh, uh, addictions and tech toxicities didn't i tell you that i felt like the jerugs was up in here <laughs> didn't i say it we have threatening it says intimidating threatened bothered so someone here who has the addiction problems they're bothered by you they're bothered by you why i don't know why is this person threatened this is someone here who's threatened because of your what you do for work or this is someone here that you work with that is threatened and bothered by you. This person has bad habits or they're fucking toxic and they don't know how to not be toxic. This could be a younger man who is threatened by you or bothered by you or intimidated by you. This person is, this person could be in a toxic partnership. They're depressed, they're insecure, they feel hopeless, they feel pessimistic or they are a pessimistic person. This person could be depressed or someone's unaware of the reason why they're in their predicament it's because of some sort of bad habits that they have or toxic or toxic ways that they refuse to like change about themselves this is someone who's so fucking stubborn okay this is someone here that's also mad because you put distance between you and them this person could be a foreigner so this could be someone who's like originally from a different country that you reside in okay this person could be Haitian or Jamaican, European, some. Someone could be from Nigeria or Puerto Rico, because I picked that up in another reading. Was it in this reading or the collective? One of the, one of those. Something like that. Yeah, this is a thief. <sighs> no. Someone has sad news because in the near future, in the distant future, you're about to receive um, or be in a relationship and they can no longer steal from you. They're disappointed. Libra. What the fuck? Um, what time is it? Okay. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What kind of traits are they dealing with with these individuals? These individuals that are getting sad news. What are the traits of these people? Someone here is jealous. Whoever these people are, they have jealous traits. Okay? And they're receiving sad news. Tell me more. 
Someone here can have love handles, okay? So they could be, I don't know, have a little extra cushion for the pushing. We have um, dehydrated, okay? Someone here could be dehydrated or someone here is thirsty for you. Maybe someone's wanting to put their arms around your, your love handles or something like that. Tell me more. Or somebody here needs to drink more water, okay? We have morning breath. Something here about morning breath is of significance. We have sexiest. So someone feels like you sexy as hell. You're the sexiest person they were with or have been with, okay? We have vegan. Someone here could be a vegan. This could be you or someone else. We have beer belly. Somebody here could have a beer belly. This could be you or someone else that's jealous of you. We have third wheel. Okay, there could have been a third wheel enemy here that's upset because someone finds you sexy. We have identical twin. Okay, so this could be your twin here. Your twin could be a vegan. Or someone has an identical twin. We have hot. Someone thinks that you're hot. Someone could be jealous about that. Or it could be really hot where you're at. We have lightweight. Someone here could be a lightweight when it comes to like drugs or alcohol. Or somebody thought you were weak. Somebody here thought you were a lightweight. But they're discovering that you're a heavyweight. Hot again, child. What else is going on? We have heartbroken. So someone here that you're dealing with is very much heartbroken. Okay, Libra, when it comes to your situation. This person's a fucking sore loser. You're dealing with a, soul, a sore loser here. A bunch of sore losers. It's not just one person. Yeah, someone here could be experiencing some sort of hangover. We have patriotic. Someone here could be um, very proud. America. Someone here could be American. Don't have to be. We have old, okay? This is an old soul. <laughs> this is an old, thirsty ass, sore loser. Sorry. We have Saggy. This would be a Sagittarius, okay? That you're dealing with. Or someone always wears saggy pants. We have goat. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the goat. Okay, or somebody here thought that they, were, that they were the greatest of all time. They felt like nothing could nothing could get them caught up or they're, I don't know, but they're getting caught up. We have dramatic. So someone here is acting super dramatic. This is an old dramatic sore loser, okay, who's thirsty for you. And they're getting hangry because they have been so, it's been so long that they have been without your energy that it's driving them crazy. Okay. Well, hot diggity dang. What else do they need to hear, spirit, so we can bounce? We have create me. A pure heart, O oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Okay? So somebody here needs to heal their jealous ass heart. It says, be still and know that I am God. So no need for you to worry. The divine is taking care of you. Okay? The divine is fighting your, your battles. We have Joker. It says, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full so you got a full out here somebody here who's a joker somebody here who thinks they're satan's right hand man this motherfucker is going down you're being protected from this person or you need to not allow this person to come into your energy or near you don't invite this person in your home if this person comes to you asking you if you can help them don't help them because all they're trying to do is kill steal and destroy we have, though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed. So the promise of peace coming into your life 
That will not be shaken. That will not be stirred. For some of y'all, you're going to be experiencing like everybody else is going through some sort of tower or fall. Okay. Something like that. The number 77 could be of significance. Someone here could be born in 1977 or someone here could be born in 1978 or 87. We got Moses at the bottom of the deck. It says proof that faith can coexist with fear. God used him to lead the Israelites to freedom. His disobedience exiled him, but God never left him. Okay, so some of you could feel like, I don't know, like you're Moses or something. Or you connect or resonate with this story. Okay, or you could have... Uh, even though you were fearful of doing something, you did it anyways because you were obedient to the divine. And you're going to be rewarded for that, Libra. Okay, let's get out the shells. It's going to be quick. It's going to be loud. Okay. Someone's first middle or last name could start with a T, a C, a D, a B, a U, an E. An N, an A, an M, an S, an O, a G, a U, a J, an F, a V, an N, an X, an A, a T again. Did I say E already? Yeah, E again, and we got K. Okay, so we got 888 out here, so you guys definitely could be seeing this number. You're definitely receiving divine guidance at this time, and somebody's going to be going through karma. Okay, someone here could be 75 years old, or someone here could be born in 1975. Someone here could be 57. Someone here could be a life path 1, 8, 5, 7, 6, 3. Um, someone here could be a master number 11. We have Q out here. Someone here could be 50, 70, 30, 60. 80 or they're born in those years so in here can be born on the 17th or the 19th of a month the 13th of a month the 15th of a month the 18th of a month something like that okay let's see what's going on someone could have ocd okay This could be you or someone else. Someone's name could be Jason. Someone's name could be Jason. Someone's name could be Mason. Someone here could be a Mason. Someone here could be a 33 degree Mason. <clears throat> someone's name could be Dustin. Someone's name could be Gaston, <laughs> or someone here could be like a Gaston character, and you could be like the Bell, the Bell character. She truly is a funny girl to bail. Someone's name is Deja. Someone's name could be Aston, Austin, Aston. Someone could live in Texas, Austin, Texas. Someone here could be from Massachusetts. Someone's name could be Tammy. Someone's name could be Tom. Someone here could have AT&T as a cell phone provider. Or someone works at AT&T. We have bullshit. Someone here could be saying something's bullshit. Something here about an atom is of significance. Something here about CERN. That what is it called? The atom collider or something like that? Something about that's significant. Someone's name could be Adam. Someone here could have an otter box face, uh, an otter box phone case.
someone feels like they're gonna be damned someone's name could be Damon Damon someone's last name could be Amos or Amos there's some sort of data here or information that is going to be discovered here soon or you're about to receive we have data data someone here could be a data entry person we have uh moses is out here again something about the story of Modus moses is significant be careful of what you eat right now we got eat someone here needs to take several seats we got a seat Someone's name could be Mo. Someone's name could be Tate. Someone's name could be Nate. Someone's name could be Kate. Something here about a canteen is of significance. Someone here is going to get sued. We got sued out here. Or someone's name is Sue. Sue Ann. Someone's name could be Sue Anna. Someone's name could be Anna. We got dot com. Someone here could be suing somebody over a, a website. Tana. Someone's name could be Tana or Taya. Tana. No, Tana. Something here about a sauna is of significance. Maybe some of y'all is spending time in a sauna or you need to. Someone here could be from Tucson, Arizona. Or something, something about that. Someone's name could be Eugene. Someone's name is Joe or Joseph. Someone has picked up a new clue. Or someone has a hard time picking up um, social cues. Someone here could be autistic or this is you or someone else. Someone's name could be Jesse. Something about somebody's toes. <laughs> someone, something about someone's toes is significant child <clears throat> someone here could live by the sea or someone needs to go towards a body of water Someone here could play for the NBA. We got NBA out here. Something here about the network NBC could be of significance as well. You're being asked not to enable somebody here. Something here about the day Tuesday is significant. Monday is significant as well. Something is going the way it's supposed to. Someone's name is Jean or Jenna or Jennifer. You guys can be seeing the number 10 a lot. Someone could be calling someone a goober. Someone here could be a CNA. Someone here could attend Mount Sac. Someone could go to Mount Sac. Someone's name is Vanessa.
Someone here could be from Kansas. Somebody's afraid to ask you something. Or you're being you're being told to ask, or all someone had to do was ask you a question instead of doing the latter or whatever they did. And now someone's in some deep shit. Someone here could be from Connecticut. Someone here could be from Vermont. Something here about Anubis is of significance. Someone's name is Tab Tabitha. Or someone here has a tabby cat. Someone here could have a van or they drive a van. Or something here about a cat is of significance. Okay. Something here about your ex. We have the words no moss. So no more. Something will be no more. No moss. Okay. Somebody thought something was a joke. Someone was not serious about something. They thought something was a joke and they're going to learn it's not a joke. Someone's name could be Sam. Someone here could take a lot of tokes. They toke it up. Someone here needs to go into the sun more often. Someone here could have a gun or maybe someone needs to get one. America. Someone's a fiend. Someone here could be a sex fiend. We got the word sex out here. We actually have the word Texas. The whole word. Texas. All my exes are from Texas. We got fun. Maybe some of you are planning on taking a trip to Texas for fun. Someone's name could be Matt. You guys could be seeing a lot of bats. Someone calls someone else a bloke. That could be from Europe. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end it. There could be something here about a tsunami. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What's going on for my Libras? What do they need to hear at this time for their highest good so we can wrap this up? Let's get some I am affirmations. Thank you. So we have Solidite. Some of you could benefit from this. This will help your throat chakra and your third eye. It says, I am calm, relaxed, and all is well. Okay. What else do my Libras need to hear at this time? It helps stimulate lucid dreaming. It provides a deep insight into yourself and it helps you move beyond your ego. It increases intuition and understanding of that gut feeling. Okay, we have black obsidian. Some of you could benefit from using or working with this um, crystal. It will help with you to stay grounded. It helps with your root chakra. Okay, it shields you from psychic attacks. It encourages you to find your soul purpose and it's great for empaths, shielding you from negative energy. It helps you connect to the spiritual world and heal any past life issues, okay? It says, I release negative energy within and around me with ease. Okay, Libra, what else do they need to hear? Spirit. We have Angel... Angelite, this can help with your third your third eye, your crown, and your throat chakra, okay? It's, it helps with um, the rebirthing process. It enhances your spiritual meditation, balances and aligns your throat chakra, connects you to angelic guidance and healing, all right? It says, I am at peace within. All right, guys.
I don't know why I want to say Oakley Doakley. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, let's get one more for my Libras. And then I got to go. We got 2002, The Void. You have more control over your life than you realize. It says, learn and execute what interests you. Turn things around. It gets better with time. There are plenty of friends to make. So chill out, have fun, and open up. Go outside. So some of you are, maybe you're being guided to go out and socialize. Child, maybe you, you've been stuck in um, isolation for too long. Maybe you don't realize this. We got 11-11. Maybe you're, um, you're... You're being provide. You're being dev deprived. Jesus of social interactions. We have eleven eleven. You have a wish come true coming through, baby boo. Ah, get it. We have. You're in for a lucky break. It may come as happy news, an experience, new opportunities, or an exciting acquaintance. You will find yourself in the right place at the right time. It is not a coincidence, but a gift from fate. So something is destined to happen here for you, baby boo. And then we have 1414. 14. It says light up. Focus on your needs, your desires, and hobbies. Everything is more accessible with a light attitude. You will be blessed with new opportunities, a new friend, or an addition to your family. Good vibes will speed up the process. Okay, so keep yourself in high vibes. And if you're not in high vibe, find a way for you to get there. Okay? Listen, y'all, this is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.